Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic. We've landed here in the very far northern rustic reaches of pure and wild Michigan. I'm with my very good friend Mel of Dark Side of the Grill. What are we doing, brother? We're fishing, hoping to land a massive Michigan Fall Run Chinook Salmon. I, I am absolutely stoked, brother. And I'll tell you what, man, if we play our cards right by the grace of the good Lord, we're gonna be eating well over the fire tonight, huh? Let's get a monster. Onto the water. Boom. Let's go. Well, we've had such a crazy day out on the water, but the truth of the matter is we have a lot of buddies here at camp to feed and it's time to get this bad boy filleted and butterflied open. So what do you think we should do with this cook, man? Let's open it up. I'd say run right down the center with that beautiful knife. Let's crack it wide open. Let's do some, uh, something interesting here tonight. Here we go. So I have the massive doll strong tuna blade, or as it's now known, as the Michigan Chinook Salmon Blade. There you Ready? Go. All right, Shadow Black Series in. This is a little bit, Mel, like bringing a bazooka to a knife fight. <laughs> so I have to go gentle, and what we're doing is we're getting up here by the collar, right along the spine, and I'm gonna quiet down so the camera can just hear each of these rib bones pop. You have to be so gentle, because I don't want to move through the back of that filet. Yep. Here we go, listen to this. And I'm just gently working alongside. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Beautiful. Just keep opening it up. Just popping. This is literally like cutting like butter. And this is an absolutely enormous fish. We literally just missed Master Angler on this fish. It's so big. What an incredible fish, huh? Beautiful. So, Mel, we're just going to go nice and easy through. Watch how easy this blade Look at it just cut. There's no pressure right now on that in the backside. Oh, that's amazing. Just opens right up. Yeah. I'm gonna cut right alongside that fin. We're gonna come down and through. Boom. All the way to the tail. Gorgeous. Look at that. Here we go. One more. Oh yeah. Out to the end of the tail. One more. There she goes. Beautiful, fresh, incredible Chinook. Wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> get out of there. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Okay, now up top, let's get rid of this. Cut click. Through. Oh, beautiful. So nice. And one more, I'm gonna click, get rid of the collar on this side. We'll just open that right up. And pop out underneath. Boom. There you go. And then here, my friend, is the perfectly butterflied Northern Michigan Chinook Salmon. Man, that's beautiful. 
Click. There we go. Click. Perfect. Click. Click. click boom. Click. Click. <laughs> boom. That's <long. laughs> all right. <clears throat> now, Mel, that's a perfectly butterflied Northern Michigan Chinook salmon. It's time to get the seasoning on this bad boy. Let's go. Let's get it. Now, Mel, when we're preparing a Michigan salmon, I think it's important in the seasoning that we don't mask the flavor of this fish, but we elevate it. And we're doing something super simple today, but so dang good. We're using olive oil, kosher salt, and we have a special rub we'll share with the folks here in just a second. But we start just by simply drizzling across the inside of these fillets from snout down to tail. And then why don't we hit it with a pretty aggressive dose of that kosher salt. Oh yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, this is gonna act as both a flavorizer and a tenderizer. And it's really gonna help escalate all of the flavor in the fillets of this fish. Oh, Beautiful. Amazing. Now buddy, today <laughs> we're using our chimichurri rub directly from your buddy and mine, Al Fragoni. Now in here we have things like parsley, there's some garlic, onion, really, really beautiful, some red pepper flakes. Now traditionally we'd use this chimichurri with a little bit of olive oil and some red wine vinegar and make a sauce out of it. But just look how incredible that fish looks, huh? I'm pumped to see how this is actually gonna turn out. I think it's gonna be fantastic. To be honest with you, this is actually an idea you and I brought together and we crafted alongside Camera guy, that's Alex. It. That's it. Hey. <laughs> so here we are. Chimichurri rubbed Northern Michigan Chinook salmon. Ugh. And that, my friend, is all we need to do before it hits the fire. Can't wait. Let's go. What's going on a lot, Fire Nation? How's everybody doing out there? Chef Drew, actually in this case, the cocktail guy coming at you from Fish Camp, okay? We're gonna have some awesome salmon here in a few minutes. Right now, we're gonna knock out a Tom Collins cocktail. Super simple, let's get to it, all right? Have a few ingredients here, super simple. A Little bit of vodka, all right? One, two, ah, it's live fire. Three, all right, here we go. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, a little bit of simple syrup. Technically, in a Tom Collins, you're not supposed to use it. I like it, I wanna jazz things up a little bit, all right? Here we are. Simple syrup, equal parts sugar and water, super, super simple, and then fresh lemon juice, guys. The key is fresh, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Here we go. Booyah. Next thing we're gonna do, super simple, guys, we're gonna take a little bit of ice, which I have right here, Put it into our shaker. All right. There we go. Pour this over. Okay. Give her a nice shake. Quick thing for you guys to all know out there. Every 10 seconds that you shake a cocktail, you incorporate one ounce of water, which is super important because water is the one thing that makes all cocktails palatable, okay? Here we go. If I can get this off, nice and cold. Sweet. Got our glasses lined up here with some nice ice in it. Booyah. Now, traditionally, you were supposed to use soda water in this, but this is live fire republic. We have to take things a little bit outside of the box. A little bit of ginger beer for us, guys. Here we go. Just top it off. And because we never stop with the first little weird ingredient, we're gonna keep going, guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of bitters in here. Super untraditional, super awesome. One dash or a couple. And for the third weird thing for this very traditional cocktail, guys, a little bit of orange zest. And that's it. Super simple, super easy, super fun. All right, let's take it over to the boys, see how we did. 
Gentlemen, get just flaming over this hot stove, man. Or hot fire, I should say. Oh, man. Ready for a cocktail? Let's go. I'm always ready for a cocktail, brother. There we go. <laughs> what do we got, buddy? So we're doing a Tom Collins, but live fire way, okay? So we're taking out the soda water that usually goes in here, adding ginger beer. Also adding some bitters, a little bit of orange zest. So taking it to the next level as we always do around these parts, My especially man. at Fish Camp. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Fish Camp, straight to Mackinac, huh? That's it. I think he's up for this one. Oh, what? Now that works for Dude, me that's just fine. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> that's so refreshing. That orange really pops through. Yeah, that's especially in these like last days of summer when you really want to have these kind of cocktails, you know what I mean? Especially with a beautiful piece of fish like that. It's going to pair really nice. Super cool, man. Oh, that's refreshing. He's doing a few laps in that water, eh? Let me tell you. Man, that's crazy, Drew. Thank you so much, man. My pleasure. Cheers, get in here. You got to help us out with this sauce. Oh, We're all right. just about to lay this sauce down right now Perfect. across this salmon. So Mel, this fish has been down over the grates for about a half hour. We're starting to get just the color and the tack that we want. And now it's time to lay down our buttercream chimichurri sauce. Ready to rock? I'm absolutely ready to rock, man. All right. Nothing better than making this kind of cream in a cast iron over the open fire. Amazing. Now we start out and we have a little bit of butter that goes in. This is a salted butter. And next we'll go in with the cream. Yep. A few Splash. knobs of butter. There we go. A little bit of cream. I'm going to go heavy on the cream side. Perfect. Good next, that. stock. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of stock would be great. Now here we go. This is actually a fish stock. Awesome. Next in, now we're about a quarter of the amount of cream. There we go. Beautiful. Next, white wine. A little bit of white wine. Never hurt anybody. There we go. A few splashes. Beautiful. There we go. And the secret ingredient. There we go. Yeah, Alfagoni chimichurri. We're going to hit this up. This is something, I don't know, just an idea that popped up between us out here at Fish Camp. Hanging <laughs> out. You know who uh, you know who would be super proud of us? Yeah. Al Fragoni. He he wouldn't believe what we've done here. Oh! Hey. What? What, what are you doing, amigo? What are you guys doing? We we literally cooked this whole. Where did you come from? I just flew in, man. I heard that you were using my chimney, and I had to come, man. What's up? Take a look at this, buddy. So check this out. So we have this super cool salmon right here. It's just finishing up. We use a little bit of olive oil. We have some chimmy down on the dry rub. And then Mel, Alex, camera guy, and I, we came up with this super cool, like, cream sauce using your chimmy, man. Yeah, that looks so this good. This salmon we just took down yesterday, it's so good. <laughs> what are you doing to the salmon? I want to eat it. I want to <laughs> eat it right now, man. This looks Let's amazing. Oh, come on. Oh. So, hey, we're going to let this rest. We're going to pull it off the heat. Yeah. We're going to set it down for about 15, 20 minutes off the fire, and then we're going to carve it up and get into it. You good? Great job, guys. Oh, Amazing. Let's go, huh? So Here we are. Good. Listen, this has been so much fun, but even better hanging out with my three very good buddies out here. Chef Drew, Mel from Dark Side of the Grill, Al, Al Fragoni. You guys, this salmon cook has been totally nuts. But listen, if you guys love this episode, make sure to smash that subscribe and like. I'd love to know about your favorite cook in the backyard you've had with your friends. To me, there's nothing better than this. For these recipes and so much more, get over to livefirerepublic.com 
But until then, boys, it's time to eat, huh? Ready. Let's dig in, huh? Here we go. Here we go. go. Wind down. There you go, sir. There we go. All right. All right, here we go. Let me get in here. All right. I'm gonna carve on the back side of this. What? Look at that cream sauce. Let's see if this just pops. Flakes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Perfecto. Al, what do you think, man? Uh, mami, uh, what does that mean? That means uh, that is excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. Look at that tail meat. So, what? Look at those chunks. Get in here, boys. Maybe just oh, peel away at that, huh? <laughs> all I had to say was get in. These three dudes haven't eaten all day. That's it. There we go. Oh, I went. Well, you already went? Drew already went? I'm sorry. <laughs> no way, dude. That's it. Oh. That's phenomenal. Come on. Are you kidding me? That's phenomenal. Mm. That chimichurri is yeah. spot on. No, it's that cream sauce. That mm -hmm. cream sauce with the chimney, where they got garlic and the parmesan. This is incredible. Listen. This has been live fire, Chinook, hunt, harvest, and cook over live fire. Stay hungry. Just happened to procure direct. We should actually, we should hook salmon fillets on the end of our. Not even bucket. take it out of the wrapper. <laughs> I know. Like, we <laughs> got it. You know. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say we got her rigged up pretty good here, let me tell you. This is it. Listen, we have so much. Listen, this has been such a ridiculous day. Hanging out with my buddies, Chef Drew, Al from Fal Fragoni. That's right. Mel from Al Fragoni. That's right. Salmon. <laughs> Can, I, can we do a voiceover? Who slipped him the Just Mickey? Just can we go? That's what I want to know. I told you guys, Who one drink. Who slipped him I, the Mickey? This I can't help it. One drink, this and I told you, I can't even remember my words. That's it. Drew's yeah. out here with these drinks. <laughs> this is like take 12. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you guys are going to look like you're falling asleep, and I've got to still be excited about this. No, I'm having a blast. All right, ready? Okay. The ready? smoke Three. isn't great. The smoke Just isn't fantastic. But. Three, two, one.